Hey gang, it's time for another Props from the Past. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, this was super fun. This is May of 2014, so uh, seven, almost seven years ago, in the basement with some friends. Um, oh, we had a shopmate, a buddy at the time, Will, uh, Will Morgan, and he needed a life cast, and we delivered. We brought a bunch of friends, and I'm pretty sure that this video was our second try. I think we failed on the first one. I think we tried to record it, but I don't know if any of that footage survived. Yeah, I think I, I was at my day job during this. I don't mm -hmm. think I was a part of it, so I missed out. Uh, was this your first live cast? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. We were, Will was on the phone with um, Steve Winsett, who was, he knows what he's doing, so we're trying to get like good information from him. I think we like, we screwed up the alginate somehow. Like and it's easy it to whatever. do. Yeah, like yeah. It, it's a weird substance. Um, well, in the description down below, we'll link some other life casting stuff we've done since then. Got uh, a lot better. With silicone though, which is a lot more uh, reliable mm -hmm. <laughs> than yeah. the uh, alginate. Uh, so, our second try at life casting, here we go. And guess what? There's a wonderful musical intro. Oops. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I only used that intro for like five videos before I moved on to something else. Uh, but it, was a, it was a cool idea. Yeah, and I know I had some help with the music. Someone, I, I can't play the drums. So I don't know who made the drums, but it may have been Andrew Allen actually. I can, see that. I can see that. We've had several intro musics, and we, we don't do that anymore, but it's fun to remember. And look at that sweet N7 hoodie. Looks new. I found that a couple weeks ago when I was cleaning my closet. It's it looks old and gross. I wore it for like four years every day. Hey everybody, it's Bill Duran from Punished Props. Welcome no, lower to third. the prop shop. Bought my from shop mate, Film Riot, Will, I believe. needed a copy made of his head. He's going to be sculpting a helmet and wanted a perfect representation of his noggin to sculpt the Look helmet at the on. the depth of field so you're doing there. Oh yeah, yeah, so artistic. Yeah. I believe Will ended up using that life cast to make his Star-Lord helmet. Yeah, Which yeah. we we painted one on the on the channel. Yeah, that, he, he hand sculpted all of that. Yeah, it was crazy. To make a life cast of his melon. There are many ways to do this and we opted for alginate. If you want, you could make a silicone mold, but we went with alginate because it is a little bit cheaper. The downside is you only get one pole yeah. from the mold. So we scurried on down to our local. Another downside, alginate is mostly water, so you can't cast urethane plastic into it. Well, I mean, you can. Yeah, but the <laughs> water in the alginate will react with the urethane and cause it to bubble a lot and, and generally be really bad. I talked to the, um, I think it was some of the Reynolds crew about that uh, Reynolds Advanced Materials, which are kind of, they're like smooth on. I don't know, they're like the same company. Mm -hmm. uh, but they said that they have a uh, resin that cures fast enough to not be affected by yeah. the alginate. It's like- 300Q, I think. Yeah, 300Q, quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I haven't tried it, but apparently you pour that in and it cures as you're pouring it and it won't be affected by the alginate. Pottery and sculpture supply store in Seattle. And we picked up Alga Safe Alginate from Smooth On. A whole bunch yeah, of nice plastic bandages there. and some I think you could have shown pal. it for longer. If you can't <laughs> yeah. buy this stuff locally, it that can really be quick. purchased on the internet. <laughs> In fact, I've got links down below where you can buy it yourself. We also needed things like Vaseline, a bald cap or a swimmer's cap, a power drill with a mixing squirrel, and some very large buckets to mix all of our materials. One of the other challenging things with the um, silicone is you can't use a latex swimmer's cap. Latex and silicone do not get along. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to get a specific bald cap. Um, and we found a, a, a like stage effects store here in Seattle yes. that's got like makeup and lighting and gaff tape and all that stuff for doing stage productions, but they also sell those very specific bald caps. Yeah, which is great, because I think the, um, the swimmer's caps have that kind of wrinkly, puckery oh, yeah, seam too, yeah. thing going on, and if you care about the back of the top of the head. Right. But alginate, you can use a swimmer's cap. Yeah, Real just a little wrinkly. Before I get started on the process, I would like to point out that this took us two tries. Ah, yes. That's right, we royally screwed up on the first one and learned a whole bunch from the process. The first thing you wanna do is get a team of about three people to help you out. These need to be people that you trust because they're going to be encasing your head in a solid material. 
Also make sure that these friends have watched this video and researched all of the materials so that they know what to expect during the process. Then you can get started. First, you wanna pre-cut all of your plaster bandages. It doesn't hurt to cut out too many of them. That way you don't have to cut out new ones while you are applying them. Make sure that you have several of them. Sure, it would be great if I was showing all shoulder, this happening while I was These will describing be used it. to create a nice <laughs> seam between the front and back of the mother mold. Then take your model and put them in their attractive swimmer's cap and then cover their face and bust area with a whole bunch of Vaseline. This will make sure that nothing we, sticks to them and they can get the mold this. off later on. I think on. I was here then for this part. I just missed, the, I missed the first attempt. Then get ready to go yeah. according to oh, the instructions goodness. on the box. With your water in the bucket. So that's the uh, twin brother Rob there hanging out with the um, bucket in his hand and I've got the drill. And my hair had a, I was brogue. Britt was Gambit and I was uh, Rogue for Emerald City one rogue. year. So I bleached the front of my hair there. It was very Pretty cute. Pretty awesome. Go ahead and dump the alginate powder in as you mix it with your power drill. This is kind of like making a cake batter mm. by adding your solid ingredients to the blender as it's going. Keep mixing it up. a blender would have been, or like a, 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 a oh, like effect a, shops use like KitchenAid mixers yeah. for mixing latex and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, like uh, that's something that I bet we could find used somewhere, like a beat up one that looks like you shouldn't use it for pizza dough anymore. Right, actually Kim uh, Beaton uses a stand mixer like that to mix her paltaya. You're right. That works yeah. really well. Um, yeah, I, actually she puts a towel over it while it's mixing to keep the dust from doing it that the same thing would work here. Making sure that you don't get any big lumps. Do this for mm, about a minute or so, but don't dally because you do have a very short window time to work with the alginate. Then get your team together and I feel and like you could have shown more footage. I know, I, I, I probably just didn't get enough footage. Was it, Who was filming, was it me? I think the camera's just on sticks. Okay, yeah. I, I might not have been here. I don't know. I feel like I should have helped more. <laughs> <laughs> so we have me and Rob and Taylor and my brother's wife, Jamie, in the front there. And then Will getting the goo Alginate everywhere. Alginate goo all over your model's face. Make sure, as I demonstrate here, to not put it in your model's nose. Like this. And smear it up mm. uh, right, in, <laughs> right into his nose. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, just got it. Okay. I'm, got it. I'm going in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was a pretty ridiculous time. I do, I wonder if I still have all the raw footage of that because it was just like yeah. adolescent pot of humor the whole time. It was a good thing. The part I remember was um, uh, at one point we had a, a garbage bag wrapped around Will uh -huh. uh, to do make sure he didn't get alginate on him. And he got too warm and to let us know he was like doing like, like miming, like, like, like tear, trying to tear it off. And we're like, oh, you're too warm. So we like studio lights on him. Yeah, yeah. So he was getting really what warm. What you'll end up doing yeah. is sort of pushing and smearing the alginate into all of the facial details to make sure you pick all of that up. You'll also be fighting gravity. This stuff will want to sort of slough off your model. It really sets up fast. Keep sort of mm -hmm. Like in back five up minutes. And piling yeah. it on yeah. because you want a uniform thickness over the entire head. You only have about five minutes here to get that all done. Mm -hmm. So having many hands makes it work really, really well. When we screwed up the first time, we ended up with a couple of areas that didn't get enough love and were too thin, including just under the chin. About five minutes yeah. in, you will notice the alginate start to firm up a little bit. Once it starts to happen, your clock is ticking. Make sure that the thinner areas get covered as well as you can. And then once it sets up, you're done. Just stop. Yeah. So with silicone, silicone fresh, like if it sets up and it's firm, you can mix up a new batch and add it and it'll bond. Not with alginate. Once it's firmed up, you can't mix up more alginate and stick it on there. It'll just fall right off. Mm -hmm. So, um, it was one of the reasons why our first attempt failed, just because we you only have one shot. You can't just keep adding more. You can't pile it on. In fact, once the alginate has set, you can't mix up another batch and add it on later. It will not stick. Yeah, it, it, it kind of has its own release. Now that your friend's head is completely on. encased in alginate, make sure that they can still breathe and that they're doing okay. Also, this is a wonderful time to have an alginate fight with your brother. Hey, Rob. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 no. How's your new fight? My mouth is open. <laughs> With all of the 
It's a pretty good snapshot of what our childhood looked like right there. That was a good uh, take <laughs> that he did. Let's, let's watch that again. Like that was like some of his oh, card magic go. coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, right? a little, little uh, misdirection. Yeah. Was real, was real yeah, 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 look at that. Fake high, throw low. Let's see here. How's it doing? Fun! Oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, my mouth is so open. <laughs> With all of the funny business out of the way, you can start on the rigid Ooh. mother mold. We ended up doing the back of the mother mold first, but I would recommend going with the front of it first. Start by putting a really nice, thick, seam down the middle of the head from shoulder to shoulder. Later on, this will provide a registration point. I didn't, they didn't point it out in, this, in the video, I don't think, but um, we have someone uh, whose only job is to get the cloth wet and then squeegee it and then hand it off. I believe Jamie just kept doing that. Having someone who's, that's their only job is so helpful yeah. for this. Yeah, we, we um, when we did the life cast for Bob from I Like to Make Stuff, we used silicone, but the bandage method was the same. And mm -hmm. we got a lot more footage in that one. So uh, I'll link it down below, watch yeah. that video. Yeah. But also, um, uh, S Steve did a, a, a book. Oh, um, yeah. So yeah. actually, you can buy the, the ebook on our store um, uh, by Steve Winsett. And it's a book step by step everything included uh, for the alginate process. Mm -hmm. And we did it in the same spot with Steve and I took all the photos for Yeah, it. and Rob was the subject, right, yeah. which is how we got a life cast of Bill. It's, yes. it's actually it's Rob. Actually Rob. Yep. When you're putting so the sneaky. two halves back twins. together for hey, you've never had a, a full life cast. I also recommend no, having never, one person hey, man the bucket hey. while they Good job being dunk helpful. their Maybe you got plaster bandages yeah, in the water, probably. squeegee them off a little bit, and then hand them to the other two people who are applying mm. them to your friend's head. They will want to make sure and rub the plaster in so that it gets nice and solidified into one big old piece. Was that footage from the first try? Might have been. Yeah, it might have been. Maybe I was there for the first try. Yeah, and it yeah, didn't I think work so. Because now, because Taylor's in your Wait, spot. can you go back and see if uh, Will looks different? Yeah, like I can kind of look at the lumpiness there. Yeah. Oh, this is this is uh, CSI. Yeah, it's definitely a different different time. Yeah, that looks like it's not quite set up. Right. And it, uh, yeah, it's definitely looks different. Plaster bandages in the water. Huh. Squeegee them a off a little camera. bit. It's amazing and hand how them to the other you two think I would remember this more. applying them to your friend's head. I mean, it was seven They years will ago. want to make sure and rub the plaster in so that it gets nice and solidified into one big old piece. And a couple of uh, layers of that should do the trick. Once one side is good and starts to set up, you'll feel it get kind of rigid and you can smear a whole bunch of Vaseline mm -hmm. all along the seam Remember. for applying the other half so that they don't stick together. Once the seam is yeah, all prepared, you can then apply the other half of the mother mold. Again, soaking and squeegeeing off plaster bandages. And I would start by overlapping the seam line by just a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot, because you've got to get that apart later on. Mm -hmm. Again, your team will be applying these plaster bandages all over, making sure that it's you a get great time good, lapse. nice coverage. And a couple layers should do just fine there. If that really well, shows the process. Again, make good. sure you don't cover the nostrils. Maybe a little slower this is there. your model's lifeline, and if you do cover it, then they will suffocate. But I'm sure they'll let you know that's happening before they pass out. About 10 to 20 minutes after that, you can crack off and, the back uh, of the mold. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, those plaster bandages are still kind of pliable. Mm -hmm. So you could tear them off. Like, let's say you forgot your Vaseline and seamed it up in there. Like these bandages that are designed for this process um, are still flexible and for, it takes them like... Yeah, like, like a couple days to fully set. Yeah. yeah, so you could rescue yourself. Like if you if you were at a state in, inside this tomb, you could just tear it all off. Right, like, and that's actually one of the other reasons why it's great working with a ton of people and doing it quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so that um, you can give yourself that time that you might need to do anything um, uh, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll come right apart. If not, you may need to pry it just a little bit with a screwdriver like I did. Do take care not to poke your model with the screwdriver. Now it's time to take the entire mold off of your friend's head and torso. Start by cutting a T-shaped line into the alginate. You can cut your T using a dull butter knife. Again, be very careful not to cut your friend. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but I'm gonna. The cross of the T should be uh, a So the, the consistency of the alginate 
is almost like a really tough jello. Mm -hmm. But not so tough that you can't slice it or rip it by hand. Yeah, um, yeah, like a really well firmed jello. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I was surprised at how durable it is because it does feel like jello. Um, but the the butter knife is is very dull. It just needs an edge that'll press through that, and it cuts it quite easily without hurting your friend. A little bit back from the seam. You don't want those to line up perfectly, and it should go about I don't know eight inches across, centered on the head. The bottom of the T should go all the way yeah, down the go. spine. Look at and that. And then the T prevents it from splitting and tearing. So if the seam is going up the back of the head like this, uh, and you just leave it like that, then when you pull it open, it's gonna tear at the top, right? If, with the T there, when you pull it open, it's almost like a book, and it's less likely to tear on the corners. Right to the bottom of the alginate, straight down. That way you'll have a place for your friend to get their head out of the mold. It should also keep the mold from tearing too much. There may be a little bit of tearing, you'll have to play it by ear as it goes. Now is the most hard part. You've gotta pull that off, leaving the front of the mother mold on the mold. That way it's got a little bit of support. Yeah, if it's all Using floppy, it'll probably Using your entire team rip. and going very slowly, yeah. start pulling it off your friend's head. If the model can flex his face a whole bunch, then that'll help release it from the inside of the mold. Nice. And really music. slide yeah. it off your friend's head. It's real When it free. does come off, you can fold the back alginate flaps Yay, into the Will's mold. Free. And then go grab the back of the mother mold, slap that thing right back on top of there, and quickly tape it up with a little bit of duct tape so that it stays together temporarily. Then turn the entire mold facing up and carefully like how, place the alginate flap back in place to, will? to complete yeah. the mold on it's the inside. Tape. To, to keep it together a little bit more permanently, I liked driving some drywall screws right through that thick seam yeah. along the sides of the no mold. No messing around. But make sure the screws don't go all the way into the mold. Then take any type of clay and plug up those nostrils. They were used for breathing before, but now you need them to be filled up so that the hydrocal does not escape through them. And just like that, you are ready to start casting. And you gotta cast right away too. That alginate won't last but an hour. So fill up one of your five gallon buckets. It uh, starts roughly. sweating. The water that you added into it, yeah, it will eventually yeah. separate and shrink and shrink and shrink and get harder. I was trying to do an alginate cast of a visor and I didn't have the right materials and it wasn't working out. I think I didn't have the right uh, hydrocal, mm. the plaster. And uh, I, I left it for a day and it just kept shrinking and yeah. releasing water. You could do that on purpose though. Yes. Kind of makes them a little smaller. Yes. Although I do believe Smooth On sells a product that shrinks on purpose. It does. At, a, at, a, at a predictable rate. <laughs> Halfway and start dumping handfuls of hydrocal in. You don't want to mix it right away because that'll activate it. Yeah, there's a whole so process for mixing hydrocal. dumping handfuls in until it sort of reaches the surface and kind of And a lot of this stuff a has a shelf life. Bed so effect. it can go bad Start after a couple of years. Start mixing up the hydrocal by hand. Why would Will put a shirt back on? Gently, <laughs> taking I think it was really hot. Taking care to squish yeah, any lumps that you find in there. After a couple of minutes, you should end up with a consistency much like a smoothie mm. or a milkshake. At this point, it's time to pour it in the mold, but be very gentle. You don't want to disturb the flaps that you have on the alginate on the inside and you don't want to splash it anywhere. I believe this is when we were making so all the poop jokes. I think it's there, at the there, end there. of the video. Oh, once you've filled up the mold, you can reach in with your hand and try and make sure there aren't any bubbles or pockets of air yeah. inside the mold. It'll get it caught and in the ears and the nose, the uh, mm -hmm. air, so it's... Uh, and if their chin is like curved enough, mm -hmm. it might have a bubble up down, down here, yeah. And you can let it go. It's good to go. Just leave it there. Let it cure. Oh, we did it you pause overnight. It? I forgot. Um, Odin, uh, Odin makes did a live casting video, so I'll link that one too. Um, I, I think the neat thing about his was that it was they used hydrocal with um, like burlap uh, fibers mm -hmm. and dunked the fibers and uh, laid it inside like fiberglass, and that way the uh, head cast is hollow. Oh. Oh. And uh, easier to carry yeah. around. Yeah, I, I have to weigh my head cast. It's very heavy. Yeah. I would say at least 20 or 30 pounds. Yeah, probably. so the, the, the fiber lane was a longer process, but it keeps it lighter. It also, mm -hmm. it's, it makes it like, if you drop it, it'll shatter. So that wouldn't be good, but. And by the time we showed up in the morning, it was rock solid, ready to go. You don't need to worry too much about the mold because it's a one-time use. You can unscrew it, tear it apart, throw it away, do whatever. 
and then start ah. peeling off chunks of alginate. And what you'll find underneath is a perfect it's copy of your It's some kind of, of like excavation. Face. Yeah. Once it has been liberated from the mold, you that. can clean it up a little bit. A lot of times the seams will be yeah, showing up. Yeah, you can see the, um, that um, from swim the mold, you can cap, clean it. Uh, the lines going across there yeah. from the swim cap. Uh, Will did a bunch of work with uh, rasp to clean a lot of that up. It up a you little bit. See, a lot of times yeah. the seams will be showing. Kind of carved his so ears back in. Something like a rasp, and just <sighs> grind that crap right it's down. It's so handy and for like domino nice, mask things. Look at that. That's great. That's great. That's great. I miss that guy. Exactly the same size. I like the the sand sanding box in the background. That's the dust collector. The dust collector. That's when we were doing a lot of like resin castings and sanding like spurs and stuff off so i built a box around it to keep it all <laughs> contained guys as your friend Ta-da! so that's it folks that's exactly how you make a copy of your friend's head using alginate i'd like to thank will over at wmarmory.com i don't think that website exists anymore no we all learned no will got himself a big boy casting. job down in la working like on tv and movie shows so for helping out and he's been doing that Brittany for the last few years and my brother rob and his wife jamie they were all troopers for sticking through on our two attempts. I'd also like to thank you for tuning hey. in and learning a little bit about life casting here. I've done a whole bunch of other tutorial videos in the past, and I'm doing a whole bunch more in the future. He, he doesn't even know how many more he's going to be doing. <laughs> he doesn't even, he doesn't know what's coming. Uh. This poor, poor guy. So be sure you subscribe because you won't want to miss out. If you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments below, or you can bug me on Facebook, facebook.com slash punish props, or on Twitter at Chinbeard. Thanks again, folks. Go out there and make a copy of your head. <laughs> I clearly had no plan for the end of that video. Throw a thumbs up and just walk off screen. Well, that It's just there are too many cooks in the kitchen. Cut his balls! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, okay, uh, no one is paying any attention to his genitals right now. Since the Vaseline is is a barrier between those two, we're just gonna have to take like a this is not like a flat. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Shizzle just starts stabbing him. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> it's like a chubby. Uh, I think that will not, not, not chubby no, 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 no. in the neck. No. <laughs> just it it actually nice. hurts more to get stabbed with a blunt object. For example, Bill once stabbed me with a spoon. <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't remember that what story. Did you do? <laughs> I like that you automatically assume he deserved it. All right. It sounds like diarrhea. Oh my god. There was the there was the hot push. <laughs> So we've learned a lot since then, but I mean that worked. Uh, it did work. If I had to make a life cast again right now, I would definitely use. Uh, oh geez, I would use a uh, silicone. That body yeah. double stuff and the stuff that works on stubble is amazing. It's a little more expensive, but it is way easier than alginate. You totally <laughs> try the alginate though. Steve Wynn's yeah, book yeah. is great. Yeah, um, yeah. The if you're doing an arm, a uh, hand. Uh, Algin, it's pretty easy for that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. think uh, Tested just did a video on showing off a kit you can buy that's just for casting a hand. It like comes with a bucket too, like in everything. Uh, and that's a lot less stressful than putting it on a face. So yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. start with a limb instead of a go. face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's gonna wrap it up, gang. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this look at the, uh, the past. Uh, thanks so much for the support. You guys are amazing. Please keep that up. We have some more fun. Fun stuff coming next week. We just dreamed up a fun new project yep. on the drive here today that we're excited to do. Um, and we'll share more about that next week. So looking forward to it. Thanks again. And uh, we'll see you for more shenanigans soon.